welcome back to my channel. So, today, <clears throat> I apologize. I am going to do, yeah, my nail fell off. It's a sad moment. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to do the, what I had promised to do, the simple Valentine's Day look. I'm not going to go all out. I hope I don't. I, I promise I hope I don't. I want it to be as simple for all the girls who don't like to do the cakey and all of those kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so something else that I decided to do while I did my eyebrows off of camera was use only, I don't want to say only, but I want to do my makeup with drugstore products. There's a couple things that won't be drugstore, uh, drugstore, I can't talk today, products, and I'll explain why throughout the whole video. So, we'll figure out what this look will be as we go. So, for my first product, I'm going to go in with my NYX Hydro Touch Primer. So, here we go. I put some on my hand. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> All right, so a couple of minutes ago, like less than 10 minutes ago, we bought our tickets to go to Mexico in February, and it was supposed to be my trip, you know, but everyone decided to tag along, so everyone's going except my younger brother. So the first shade I'm going with is this top one right here. Okay. Like I said, I don't know where this look is going, but I do want it to be very natural, very, you know, someone to be able to do this look. So I just start off with a very, very light brown. And you can see that, very light brown. No, this is, this is not what's gonna happen today. I just changed my lighting, this is not happening. Alright, so I put that one shade literally everywhere, and the next step is to, I'm basically just going to go in with a darker brown. Um, like I said before, this is not going to be a, you know, out of this world look. It's going to be really simple. So then I grabbed a clean brush, and I just went in, and so I don't have any, like, rough you know, edges where the color looks weird. Okay. So the next shade, haven't figured it out yet, <laughs> is gonna be, okay, it's gonna be this shade right here, and then we're gonna move on to this shade, and then this shade. We're basically just going a little darker, just a little bit. the outer corner, bring it in a little bit, just a little bit, okay, so I basically brought this shade everywhere, absolutely everywhere, I just, I kept going up and up, okay, and then I'll put the next shade on, it's a little darker, and I'm just gonna like keep it here this time, this one I have to keep low than the rest of them. I'm using a total of three shades right now. I feel like every time I come on, on camera, I'm always looking like a total mess. I promise I don't always look like this. I, they've just been um, uh, cutting my hours at work, which is disrespectful. But So the next drugstore product is my NYX eyeliner. I'm not gonna do a wing liner because wing liner doesn't always work out with me and it takes too long. So where the eyelash is gonna go, I'm just gonna align it right here. You guys will see in a second, a really thin line. So when it comes to lashes, 
I have two options that people may like. I have these lashes from Morphe. These are $3 lashes. They are very natural. Blends in very well with your natural lashes. If you don't if, if again you don't want heavy lashes, that is perfect for you. These lashes, these are also Morphe lashes. These are $10. They are a little bit more dramatic, a little bit, but they're very pretty and very affordable. $10 isn't, I feel, that much, you know, for um, really good lashes. But again, if you want to go on the natural side, these are for you. They're very pretty. They feel like you're not wearing anything on your eye. It feels like it's your lashes, honestly. They have different styles, and I recommend you guys check those out. So I decided to go in with my... Uh, Morphe lashes in the style hypnotic again these are like the $10 lashes that I showed you guys right earlier and the eyelash glue I used is this one because it dries down to black and I'm wearing black eyeliner so it'll blend in you know and to apply my lashes sometimes I use tweezers or sometimes my fingers but I have really long nails on right now and there's just not the biggest help so I used tweezers. But I went ahead and did, you know, my eyelashes and the other eye off the camera. So now that I did ha already have my primer on, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream because God knows my under eyes are very horrible. I'm going to apply that under there. So I reviewed the Morphe Foundation and I decided, you know, let me give it another shot but I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it I don't know when but my actual shade and you know figure out what could I use as a very moisturizing um, that's if a moisturizer or whatever so it can work out I was currently actually using it with it I wanted to see if it would uh, kind of have my same shade if I mixed it with another foundation and I did but I'll go ahead and show you guys that later on. This part is like my favorite because all of my bags just go away in an instant, you know, after putting on concealer. And I like how these two like work together so well. Alright, so for my powder I use the air spun, whatever, however you pronounce that. But I like this one a lot. I've tried these. I haven't tried the uh Laura Mercier one and I don't want to because I'm scared I'm gonna like it and I'm gonna want to purchase it so I don't use that one I don't usually bake either I like to really push it into my skin so it completely melts in there this I've talked about this before this is my ride or die bronzer it's like it's everything I really recommend it I would recommend buying the um, paying the money for this it smells amazing. It smells so good. And I don't really contour right now. So, but for blush, I really don't spend money on blushes. So, like I said before, I'm going to use a palette for a blush. You already know which one I use. And if you don't, what a shame. That means you haven't watched my videos. I'm just kidding. And if you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We always like to welcome new subscribers. And we appreciate every single one of them. I haven't really tried to need new blushes from drugstore. I just, that's because I don't use blush a lot. I don't typically go and buy blush. It's just whatever I have I use, literally. Now, the next product is highlighter. And it's also from Morphe. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use this. I love this so much. Like, I, the shades are perfect. Like, you already know what shades I use. Just so you guys can see how blinding this is. Or how beautiful and how stunning this is. It's absolutely beautiful. And I played all the lip liner all over and then I'm gonna take the dose of colors shade nude chica and I'll apply it right here in the middle 
so you can give like an ombre effect, you know? And I'm just gonna take my finger and So for my last step, it is my my setting spray. This was I don't remember if it was like ten dollars, but they have like little mini ones and have bigger ones. But this is really worth it. I really like this one. This was the the cucumber one, the rose water, and some other one. I do not like. I don't like the smell. This is the final. <gasps> That's cringe. Ew. Alright. <laughs> That's the final look. Um, this is the very much um, simple Valentine's Day look. And if you guys liked it, go ahead and let me know in the comments, please. And thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I can't get over that. Ugh. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, you guys.